Right now, we're going to show you a subcuticular suture. The benefit of a subcuticular suture is that we can close the wound without having any sutures appear on the skin. With the incisions already made, notice the cross hatches. These cross hatches will help you space the subcuticular sutures as they are placed. Let's break this down into two steps. We're going to practice putting the sutures across the top of the wound and then independently practice putting the sutures on the bottom side of the wound. The goal is to put the sutures in the skin with itself so that it will bring the wound together by pulling below the skin surface as much as possible. We start off the same as before. Use a 19 mm needle on a 4-0 nylon suture. Load it like before perpendicular to the end of the needle driver. You're going to start on the top end of the wound. What you're going to do is enter on one crosshatch, exit on another crosshatch, and try to stay within the width of the skin. Do that by lifting up and away from yourself. Enter at the crosshatch staying within the width of the skin and coming out on the next crosshatch. Hold onto the skin and rotate the needle on through the bite. Now reload the needle. Pick the crosshatch, next one down to enter, and exit at the adjacent crosshatch. Lift up and away from yourself. Enter the width of the skin and exit within the width of the skin. One crosshatch down. Hold the skin and rotate the needle through. We'll show you this one more time so that you can get the idea before practicing it on your own. Load the needle. Pick up the skin downstream of where you want the suture to exit. Enter at a crosshatch and exit at a crosshatch. Rotate the needle through. Pull the suture taut. What you can see is that you have a couple of sutures exposed with three sutures underneath the skin. Now pull the sutures out. And now work on the bottom part of the incision. Load the needle. Pick a crosshatch, go one crosshatch over, lift up the skin, enter and exit. Rotate the needle through the little bit remaining. Lift up here, enter and exit, in the width of the skin, trying to maintain the depth. Load the needle again. Move over one more crosshatch. Enter and exit at the crosshatches. When you're done, you will see that all the sutures are places within the width of the skin. Load the needle in the normal fashion. Put a suture deep in the subcutaneous tissue. Get a big bite of the subcutaneous tissue to anchor the suture. Start the tie away from yourself. This time, the suture has to go down in the direction of the wound so the knot gets buried. Once the knot is tied, cut off the tag with your scissors. For the next part, start with a backhand loading of the needle. Start deep in the tissue and come out in the apex of the wound. That will anchor the incision to the apex. And then go back to suturing back and forth. Start near the right end of the incision and place a subcuticular suture into the skin away from you. Pull it through, leaving a few centimeters of tail. 
Once you have retrieved the needle, move your AdSense to the skin edge closest to you at a point of one marker over to the left of the marker that you have just used to guide your exit. Pull it up and towards you. Re-enter the skin edge closest to you at the same marker that you exited above and this time exit one marker over to the left. Repeat from top to bottom using the markers as a guide. Continue almost to the left of the line. The skin should be approximated and the markers should line up. Don't worry if it's not perfect. That's why practice is important. Start the series of subcuticular bites right next to the apex on the skin away from you and continue back and forth until you reach the end. At the end, you will repeat the same procedure to secure the suture except in reverse. Pull the suture through the skin as we complete the last exercise. Securing the ends involves tying a knot that will be buried in the subcutaneous tissues. Expose the apex and pass the needle through the edge of the skin at the apex and exit deep in subcutaneous tissue. As you pull it through, leave a short loop which will be used for tying. Complete the suture line with an instrument tie using the center of the loop as a surrogate for the short end of the suture. Once the knot is completed, cut off the short end. Pass the needle deep into the end of the incision and bring it out the adjacent skin about a centimeter or two away from the end of the incision. Pull it taut and cut it at the skin level. Practice this several times on the straight and curved lines of the suture board.